Respawn took a big risk with releasing Arenas. It's their first venture outside of Battle Royale, so I'm sure it's going to hurt them to hear this, but nobody likes Arenas. Okay, that's a gross exaggeration, but the real stats do show it's not the most popular game mode around. Let's take a look through the top 150 streams on Twitch right now. We can see just 5 streamers playing Arenas. Now that's not a whole look at arenas, maybe it's just not a good game to watch. So I asked my community and 52% said they rarely play arenas and really only play it when there are challenges or rewards to unlock. That's a big problem already. Half of the player base is going into arenas not really that interested in the game. They're there to unlock the rewards then leave. Out of the people that do play it, only 16% play it more than Battle Royale and 11% play it as much as Battle Royale. The others do play it, but not as much as BR. I think this last stat is a win for Arena though. At least some people out there do enjoy Arena more or similarly to Battle Royale mode. To me, that makes me believe Arenas can be saved and it can become a good game mode people enjoy much more. But right now, nobody really likes Arenas. But why? What is the biggest issue with Arenas and what can Respawn do to fix it? And more importantly, can they fix it? Is this another case of content that just doesn't fit well with the community? The amount of effort that went into Arenas must have been far more than what went into the Season 5 PvE quests, but if interest isn't there, should Respawn also drop Arenas to focus on building up the rest of the game? Well, before we get into that, let's take a look at why Arenas isn't really that enjoyable right now. First issue, matchmaking. SBMM is important in games like Apex and it needs to be balanced right. As much as people complain about the SBMM in pubs, I think it's in a healthy place. Arena's matchmaking on the other hand is a nightmare. I personally think the majority of my lobbies are far too easy. I'm running through opponents and when I finally do get a team of equal strength, it's rare my teammates are similarly skilled. If they are, then we have a really really fun game on our hands and this is where Arena's is so fun. This is where Arena's needs to be and matchmaking needs to be this way for a healthy, fun, engaging meta to evolve. But it just doesn't happen enough. What tends to happen is that teams are rarely equally balanced and sometimes you get no teammates at all. To make it worse, you now get a matchmaking penalty if you leave arenas even if you're missing teammates. So we have an experience that's boring for some and completely unfair for others. Thankfully, there's one great solution coming, Arena's Ranked Mode. It has been confirmed that Ranked Mode will come to Arena's in Season 10. With small 6 player lobbies, I'm hopeful the game can do a good job at matching similarly skilled players together. That in itself will really solve a lot of the problems that reside in Arena's and it's the one thing that truly has the chance to save Apex's new game mode. The other issue is that there's little to work for in arenas right now. Besides the challenges, the only thing to work towards is the 100 win streak badge, which is just too far impossible to reach for 99% of the player base. In fact, even if you're under 1%, you're going to have a hard time. I tried to beat my win streak many times. The last time I finally beat it, the next game I got put up against a free stack with 4k 20 bomb badges. Now that's not such a big issue, but I was all alone. I had no teammates. The game gave me no teammates despite the game having 60 players in queue. The moment I saw they were up against me and I was alone, I was ready to give up on arenas entirely until season 10. I hope that season 10 will come with new badges to unlock in arenas alongside ranked, but even just a ranked mode to grind will be fun and give a reason to keep playing. Ultimately, arenas really hinges on the success of ranked mode unless they can sort out the pub matchmaking system. To be honest, I kind of hope that they push players towards ranked Everybody deserves to go and filter through that and I think that would really help to improve people's experience in the game. Either way, I really hope that extra time in the oven has given them enough time to test things and create a balanced matchmaking system. To me, Arenas showcases how important SBMM actually is. Whether it's through rank based matchmaking or some hidden ELO system, SBMM is actually good for games and Arenas proves it. I keep mentioning how I wish there were more things to work towards in arenas, but you could argue that if the game had a fun enough core gameplay, that it wouldn't matter if you had nothing to work towards at all. And that is true. 
but the majority of players right now have already learned the mechanics of weapons, movement and legends inside Battle Royale, so the only core gameplay worth investing in is just straight up deathmatches. Once again, Ranked could save this by allowing similarly skilled battles consistently so real engaging gameplay matters could evolve, but right now it just feels like all that matters is being aggressive with positioning and hitting your shots. I'm worried that no real meta will evolve from Ranked Arenas, but I'm really hoping it does. Either way, I do hope that they realise these issues. I do hope that they realise this is one of the biggest issues that could potentially kill arenas. It's matchmaking. Overall, I'm not really sure about the purpose of this video. I just wanted to share my frustration with arenas and talk about how it could be improved. Maybe we can create some kind of discussion in the comments. What are your opinions about arenas? Let me know. Cheerio!